morning good morning everybody today is the first day of the month of july 2022 um happy new month um the second half of the year and there's still still so much in stock for us in the market we just have to you know keep following the process keep pushing um keep being consistent just stick to it and then you know it will will be effort if we remain diligent right um it's a good morning it's a good good morning to everybody uh, my name remains heritage Heritage Editor, a market analyst at HFM Nigeria. And as always, we'll check through the markets and find out what the overall sentiment is. Um, not really, it hasn't really changed. Um, if it provides opportunities and then how we can take advantage of it. But please, please, like always, do remember that this is just the communication material and nothing in this communication contains or should be considered as investment advice or investment recommendation. You just acknowledge that investments in FX and CFD products is characterized by a certain degree of uncertainty and that any investment of this nature involves a high level of risk for which the users are solely responsible and liable. What we have this morning in terms of the overall environment is a continuation of the overall risk off that we've had over the last couple of weeks and months. I mean, through the first half of the year, it was really a negative flow, bad for equities. I saw a start that it wasn't this is the, it's, um, it's as bad as, or well, this is the, the first time we had such, you know, um, bad um, half year for equities going back to the 1970 thereabouts. I mean, it's been been a massive, massive downside for equities, um, for risk assets generally, and even today hasn't really, really changed. And the catalyst still remain the same, um, still on the back of expectations for global economic slowdown, economic recession, um, amid high inflation and central bank tightening. So that, that's still there. Um, those fears remain and it's continuing to weigh on risk assets generally, even in today's session. Now, equities are mostly low across board. Some here and there are picking up a bit. Um, the downside hasn't really been so much for the likes of US futures. And then we've seen them bounce off some of the low. So there's that. Yes, measures of volatility are higher right, in today's session, which points to the risk of flow. But then bond yields are mixed. Yes, US 10 year is down, but some other ones are higher. And then commodities too are also somewhat mixed. So that just, you know, it puts a little bit of you know caution right in what we are seeing right now it's not just a full-blown risk off there's still some caveat here and there right you look at the currency space as well yes japanese and leads clearly to the upside um the dollar is also strong but then the euro is also somewhere there right now we could say um shouldn't be in such an environment which is what we're having right now that says that you too should also be you know more cautious right apart from that you look at the other side yes AED and NZD are the, the, the laggards um, lagging the most amongst the major FX, um, down by quite a margin again already, down over one percent against the likes of you know the safe havens like JPY, the dollar, that is that. But then CTF is also amongst the laggards, so that that puts a little bit of caution here and there. US JPY is down by one point six six eight percent already this morning, down massively already. Um, retesting the lows of the month of June that we had around the ninety two um, level, right? While the NZD USD as well has also cleared through you know 0 0.6 to the downside down by over one percent as well now i said this it's been a friday and um, we cannot really rule out the place of profit taking especially when we've had you know solid downside through the week right now today we have bank holiday in canada and then on monday as well we have bank holiday in the us that's our july 4th holiday right so we're basically in for a long weekend markets wise in terms of volumes and liquidity so markets may not really have that much appetite to really you know push for a change in sentiment so we really might just end the day or continue the day you know in a more negative environment but just still be at the back of our minds that we could still see a shift because it's a friday in terms of profit profit taken on the calendar is basically just um inflation data for europe it'll be interesting to pay attention to although i don't think it changes anything for the ecb in july i think they're hiking in this july by about 25 basis points some people talking about 50 basis points but i guess we'll have to see on the particular front and then we have ISM manufacturing PMIs for the US, right? Which is also an interesting one, you know, to look out for as well. All right, um, let's just, we just quickly run through the charts just quickly. And then we'll have a picture of what we're saying. Now, this is US futures, right? The downside we're seeing today is not so much. It's just about 0.56%, half a percentage there about. We're off the low, so within yesterday's range. So yesterday we had, you know, some form of a swing right, um, down up, more like chop movement. The previous day we had like flat movement. So we've not really, yes, it's grinding lower, 
we've not really seen that heavy momentum. So, I mean, is that there's that to pay attention to on the US 500 side as well? You have a similar story there, right? Already, yes, we're down in today's session already. We've moved down, you know, lower in today's session already, right? But then we couldn't really break through yesterday's lows, right? We really found support at yesterday's lows very, very cleanly around this 3750 level. Now we're seeing some bounce. Now it doesn't mean we can continue lower. Right. Obviously, we are testing this 15 moving average that we could continue more. But I mean, the, the momentum is not really there. Right? For the kinds of moves that we've seen in AED and NZD, right? massive downside. Even though commodities are not really moving that bad. right? So it's just a little bit not as balanced as I would like. And But I want us to have that at the back of our mind when we're looking to pair strength you know, versus weakness. Now, you can cross over to the, JP, um, the dollar pairs, for example, and look to pair AED versus JPY. Sorry. Um, AD versus JPY, yes, NZD versus JPY. You have to pay AD, USD, NZD, USD as well, in line with today's session. I'll just look at them on the chart. AUD, JPY. Now, it's down already by quite a margin today, over one point, you know, around 1.66% percent it's already down today. Um, it's already broken through the ATR already, moved more than the average true range already in today's session. So it is quite a margin. Now, where we are currently trading is also an interesting level because, you know, going back to the lows in July, basically, in June, rather, around this $92.00 um, $92 level is where we're currently trading. That's a key area of support. Um, apart from that, we, um, so you don't want to be caught selling at this low. Haven't had a stretch move already and haven't had such downside already. You don't want to be caught you know, selling at such levels. Now, looking for pullbacks, right? Now, we could look at levels like, like this, the lows going back to 24th of June, maybe even anything back towards this as well, 27th of June there about, right? This would be quite already far. We already broke through this. And we didn't really get a strong retest when we we're already in trying to do some form of research. Now, if you also try to put up a few just from today's highs, today's lows, you know, it also coincides with basically this low going back to, you know, the 24th of June. That's around the like next 2.750 level. Now, any pullback really will be a preferred way to go into this. We prefer to look into this. I wouldn't want to be caught selling at such lows. If I can get a pullback towards S2 here around these levels, then I could be interested in looking to chase this further to the downside. AUD USD also down by quite a margin already in today's session. Um, let's clean this up, right? Down already about over 1.3% thereabouts. Um, ATR already smashed by right? nearly double the ATR. Right, I mean, that's already low. We had quite a pullback, just a little bit of pullback, and we've continued lower, right? That would have been a nice one to look out for. But where we're also trading up as well, right? This level, I mean, it was a low level going back to, right, around this you know, mid 2020, around June, July, there about of 2020, right? Um, it's moved so low into this, I don't want to be caught selling at such levels. Now, if I can get a pullback, right? The one to S2 was nice, but really, I don't have much confidence around that level. Anything back towards, you know, maybe the lows of yesterday, at least, you know, would be a preferred way to go. Look for a downside on that particular one there. And then we can look at, let's see, NZD USD as well. Similar story there. Let's clean this up. Similar story there as well. We already had a pullback, which was nice, but I think I would prefer something, you know, back at least a recess of yesterday's lows. If I can get that, then I will prefer this to look for the downside on this particular, you know, one. Um, you can see that's also an interesting level around the key round number around 0.62. Also, the lows go back to the 13th or 14th of June there about. So that's that's an interesting one to pay attention to. Right. Um, in terms of just one more thing I wanted to see. Right. Okay. I think we're good on that front. I don't want to look at NZD JPY finally. NZD JPY. All right. NZD JPY. Okay. Let's take this out back. And then we go. All right. Now. Looking at this as well, same story down by quite a margin already. Don't want to cut, you know, selling at such low levels. If you want to catch this um, downside momentum that we're seeing in terms of the current sentiment, right, we could look for pullbacks, right? Now we're already down here, already, you know, very low here. I don't want that, but look at this key round number around 84.00. You know, previous lows going back to, when was this? All right. This was around the uh, second, second of June, there was, I see. Um, yeah, 2nd of June, they're about, right? If you can get something back towards that level, you should also represent, I think, a 50% retracement level from, you know, the kinds of moves that we've seen already in today's session, right? Clearly, a 50% retracement level, the S2 round number, you know, that low as well. So anything back to this region will be interesting for me to look for a downside on this particular pair. Now, having said all of that, it's still a Friday, you know, 
um, the moves in equities are not really, you know, as, conf as, as strong. The momentum is not as strong as I would have liked. There's still mixed flows in commodities and, you know, bond yield. So you want to put it at the back of our minds. Um, Euro is among the strongest. Citi is among the weakest. You want to put it at the back of our mind. All those things call for more caution. But having said that, these are, you know, the pairs that you want to be looking at in today's session. Now, um, on the calendar today, like I mentioned, yes, we have inflation data for Europe. Where is it? Um, inflation data for Europe as well as even ISM manufacturing as well for the US. But apart from those two, we don't really have so much really scheduled on the calendar. It's a Friday. We have bank holiday later today. Session for Canada. We have one on Monday. So it's a new month, new quarter, right? Um, really, we might just really get going by the time we after you know Fourth of July. After Fourth of July um, holiday, that's after Monday, really from Tuesday. But having said that, it's what we have. Um, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. And like always, we'll do our best to help. Thank you and do enjoy the rest of the training session. Right for now.